My name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. Exquisite. Exquisite. The yeah. level has just gone regal. <laughs> uh, on it. There's R&B royalty <laughs> in the building. And royalties. Royalties <laughs> yeah. in the building. Yeah, yes, it is. Um... One of the greatest songwriters of our generation. You ever walked this planet Earth. Ever wow. walked this planet Earth. You guys are kind. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John T. Austin oh, wow. is in the yeah. building. Wow. Yeah. That's a really yeah. kind welcome. Thank you. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> he's suited here. and booted. Because we believe it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You, I, yeah. Shit, yeah. you are. Thank it's you. It's cemented, brother. Thank you. you I, was, I wore my suit for you guys. Yeah, oh, man. You were doing this when I was trying. Oh, man. <laughs> All of Thank us. You. I was trying. I, was, I, I, I saw you. You know, when when uh, I remember I remember when one of your, your first big checks, you got one of your first big checks. This was... Probably ninety eight, mm -hmm. maybe was it ninety eight? Yeah, and you you got the Jaguar, the Jag that Jaguar four door that everybody wanted. No, it was the Benz. No, the no. Jaguar Bubble Eye. No, Jazzy had the the Bubble Eye. Was I, had, I had the five fifty. The five fifty. Why did I think you had the? No, I had the five fifty, and I had Dubs. In the ninety in ninety eight, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember your car was way better than anything I'd ever thought. <laughs> Thank you. I'd get, and I was just watching. I was just like, "Yeah, he's it's like Tank. You too. If you you As keep writing these songs, man, you too can be like Absolutely. John Tank. I want to be like John Tank. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I'm washing lettuce. Oh, <laughs> and then I'll be on the fries. It's like it was the progression. Nigga, I was, <laughs> yeah. I was just mopping. Nigga, just I, was, I, I started I was out of the chorus too. <laughs> You had your own McDonald's, nigga. Right. Right. You had your own McDonald's. <laughs> Absolutely. Early. 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 Yeah. Very early. early. I mean, yeah. I think, you know, we got to go back there. We got to go back to the beginning. Even even before the sweet ladies and all these things. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's go back to the beginning. Where are you from, bro? I'm from Atlanta. You from, you from Atlanta? Atlanta? Southwest Atlanta. Okay. Southwest Atlanta. Okay. Oh, you from the Swats. Yeah. You I am from? from the Swats. Yeah. Is that what that's called? Uh, yes, they call it the Swats. The Swats. The Swats. Yeah. I'm I from didn't know the that. Swats. Absolutely. Well, let's let's go back to the Swats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. When 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 somebody said, "What that boy John Tay? Boy, that that boy boy got something special." He, Man, there's something on him. Yeah, yeah. I started out in church. I think just probably like most of us did, mm -hmm. singing and. Um, you know, I was doing television stuff like commercials and Were you singing on television. No, just like acting. Oh shit! Okay, you were yes. in Kids Incorporated, right? Uh, Kids Beat. I had Kids, Kids Beat. Beat. Okay, and Real News for Kids on Turner Broadcasting on TBS, CNN, and you know that's when Ted Turner was still the head of the company. And, and how old were you doing Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. I was thirteen. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, okay. so I did it from like thirteen to seventeen. Mm -hmm. How'd you get in that? Um, I it was the so I initially landed it on open audition. My mom just took me like she saw it, and you know I'd already had a couple of commercials under my belt, and she took me you know to do that. And, and I got the audition and, um, you know, and, and landed the gig. Yeah. And so I was on, yeah, sa Saturday mornings. Like, so it started Shit. with like these little news blurbs. And, you know, like you, Ryan Cameron always makes fun of me when he sees me. He's like, you know, this is Jonte Austin for Kids Beat. And so, because that was like the sign yeah. off. Yeah. And then, yeah. so you know. you were Byron Allen. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Real early. Right, yeah. <laughs> early. And so from there, but I always had a passion for music. And I was interviewing all these people on mm -hmm. the show. Um, you know, sports people, entertainment people, yeah. and and then I ended up being able to go on Arsenio Hall, and he asked me, you know, what I, if I wanted to do anything else in addition to what I was doing. I said I wanted to sing, and so he had me sing with the band, and then he kept me around for the whole show. Like I come back from commercial, I'm singing with the band, and he let me hang out. Yeah. Dave Chappelle was on that night, which is a you know completely. Oh, you, you are pouring champagne. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just, you know. <laughs> 
Yeah, man, he's been around cool shit for a long told time. Us that he did this before us. Too. Yeah, well, like, this <laughs> thing too. Not just the writing thing, but this yeah. as well. Like, yeah, yeah you know, I was interviewing people. I'm like, shit, this kind of what we're doing. Yeah, he did this. I was doing, <laughs> I was doing that. I was doing that. It was you know, like Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, all of these people. You interviewed all of them. All yeah, these people. Absolutely came through your show. Absolutely. Absolutely, hundred oh, percent. We got to find the archives, man. Yeah, you. So, if you see my Instagram every year on Michael Jackson's birthday, I mm -hmm. post a picture of me and him, oh, that's dope. and it's this. You know, I'm like thirteen. These I wore glasses back then. Yeah, silk. I had a silk shirt on. Come on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> early, <laughs> early. Early. Mm -hmm. early. See, it was doing the silk shirts then. Yeah, yeah. you know, that's but, crazy. Yeah, and from and from there on Arsenio Tease Williams. Who was yeah, in exam? Yeah, you know, Tease. Tease. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Tease Williams saw it and she called up to Turner and was like, you know, who is like got this in touch kid, with me. Yeah. And, you know, went up to New York and met uh Kenny Ortiz, who mm -hmm. was at RCA Records. Um, that was back in that. He had just signed SWV, not just signed SWV, he signed him and they had done well. Like, mm -hmm. so they had done great. Um, and so he was looking to sign you know, someone else. And so he, you know, they flew me up and, you know, Tease had made that introduction and I got my first record deal with RCA Records. I was 13. You were 13. That was before I was, that was, and that preceded the writing. I was just, yeah. you know, yeah. all about the, the singing. It was, you know, and New York back in those days, you know, to see it, you know, walk through the office at the time, Rob Walker, who managed the Neptunes, yeah. was an assistant to this cat named Dino, who was another a &R. Steve Stout was up there working for Loud under Steve Rifkin. Yeah, how so, the game go. Yeah, just the, all of these people back in those times, yeah. Oh, that's incredible, bro. Yeah. That's incredible. So you signed first to RCA or you signed to Jive? Which one? I signed to RCA, signed to yeah. Jive. Okay. Yeah. Because it was the RCA Jive at that time? No, it was, was just RCA. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. everything had, was separate yeah. back then. That was before it kind of, you All know. Together. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So I, I signed and... Um, you know, was recording. Uh, that was back when you know that's that's how I hooked up with you know the like Joe and the Neptunes. Like Kenny or Kenny Ortiz had found early. the Neptunes early. early. Mm -hmm. This was back like you know Chad had to leave the sessions because he was still in school. Like he was going back to college Shit. and flying out, and you know that was back when you know. So did they work on your first album? With they you? worked on the first album. I still have like the demo of like a couple of the songs, oh, and we're like we're like Joe okay. yeah. singing the demos, uh, but to Neptune's beats, to, yeah, that Pharrell had written, <laughs> right? For, for yeah, you. What? for me at Dallas Austin at at DARP, That's and crazy. they and they were here, and this was back when, I mean. They had them staying in like this Holiday Inn that was like around. It was like a kick door hotel. This oh, was shit. this. So this is early Neptune. That's how I'm. I'm yeah. giving you the picture of how early Neptune's this is, and you know, and then you know they go on there. And how did that Neptunes. process go though? I mean, because it's like, you know, you as an artist at 13, like, yeah, you know, you probably have some expectations too. I'm getting ready to. I'm getting ready to go there. I'm getting, I'm getting ready to be him. I'm, I'm getting ready to Man, to. I am I'm thinking like I'm gonna be, you know, huge. I'm about to do this album. It's about yeah. to drop. Cause at the same time, you know, a, 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 a childhood friend that I had met around 12, Usher, mm -hmm. you know, was already out doing he had called me a Mac out. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then he's, you know, he's about to drop Can You Get With It? It's like, oh man, I'm getting, you I'm know, next. I'm, I'm, I'm next. I'm, I'm, I'm right behind my guy. And uh, then I went through a voice change, and and then the administration that brought me in, they got the ax. Go. New administration came in. They're like, yeah. Y'all know how y'all, y'all know how that go. Y'all know how new administration. All right, kids beat. Exactly. All right, kids beat. All right, kids beat. Hit the road. <laughs> we got another kid we want to sign, and that kid was Tyrese. That was. So that's how that's how we get to. Okay, yeah, yeah, wow. let, let's get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's get there. Let's get there. Cause yeah. Because now you are faced with the music business. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right? Where it's 100%. like, okay, we got this new kid, and we want your song for this new kid. Yeah. And it wasn't my so sweet lady, um, Troy Taylor, mm -hmm. when he was with Charles Farrar, when they were the characters. Mm -hmm. They also worked on my album as well. And so, and Carl Thomas was writing. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, um, we had had a bunch of songs. So Troy's the one who really kind of pushed me into like, yo, you ever thought about writing? 
And I was like, you know, I, I mean, you know, he was like, you should try it. You hadn't it. written any song yet? Hadn't really. You know, I kind of played around with it, but so not seriously. So you didn't write no songs for yourself? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Like, I hadn't, you know, all of the songs I recorded, other people wrote. Yeah. That's and, probably the problem then. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, you know, no, one the, of the greatest writers didn't write for himself. Shit, that's, you know, <laughs> that's where it starts. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and, and uh, so you know, Troy pushed me, and then we like landed a couple things on Jason Weaver on Seven O Two, and so then I after get a, you get out of your deal, after I get out of my deal, you know, because that was now my way of just staying around the business, like you say, yes. the music business. Yes, mm-hmm. and I just wanted to be around it you know, biding my time until I could maybe get another shot at being an artist. Mm-hmm. And so I'm writing and it's, you know, is I'm getting some placements here and there. And, you know, then I get a publishing deal. You know, Valerie Patton signs me to Chrysalis. I think I'm like 15 at the time. Like my mom had to yeah, sign the contract sign with everything. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. So, yeah. uh, but then fast forward. So I'm, I'm home and... Um, you know, I get a call from Troy, and he's like, you know, listen, I got an opportunity for you. And if you're smart, you'll do it. And he was like, you know, if you're emotional, you won't do it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but this, you know, Troy, yeah. Troy, Troy Taylor, set it up. you know, yeah, Troy, yeah. Troy setting it up. Y'all know Troy, you know what I mean? Troy yeah. setting it up. And so he's like, uh, you know, he's like, you know, the... You know the record, you know, because we had the hook for Sweet Lady. Mm-hmm. He was like, you, "You remember Sweet Lady?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." He was like, "You know, I need some verses for. I need you to, you know, finish the verses, and we're gonna do it. Um, they want it for Tyrese." And I'm like, "I don't want to help that nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, he took my spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took yeah. my." You know, but then after you go, after you get that out for about 10 minutes, mm-hmm. realize that, you know, he, he in, in Tyrese's mind, this is my spot. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying right. to be an artist. I'm trying to be mm-hmm. successful. Had just like you. you. It had yeah. nothing to do. I don't know you, bro. <laughs> like, right. I don't, exactly. you know my what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I got a deal. Yeah. I'm popping, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. From the commercials to the deal. And so yes. I was like, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write the verses. I, I wrote the verses. And that was back when, you know, this was before text. You couldn't, you know, send songs. Nothing. Over the, nothing. You know, over, you nothing over the anything. phone. Right? Yeah. You couldn't record nothing on your phone. So, you know, Troy called me and, like, my answer machine pick up and, and let it play. And so I could hear it on the answer machine. And mm-hmm. then I wrote the verses and I called back and left the melody of the verses on his answering machine with the lyrics. Like that's how we did songs over the. That's how yeah, we did songs yeah. over the phone back then. Yeah, that's great. So, so sweet, sweet lady was written. You know the verses. Written the hook was done, machine. but it was done on an answering <laughs> machine. Absolutely. And that and that's your first like yeah. legitimate hit record. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So before that, let's let rewind a little bit. You do your first publishing deal at fifteen. Mm-hmm. What was that deal like? Do you remember that deal? Do you remember like the, the, terms, the terms of that deal and the type of bridge you got at, Absolutely. at 15? I remember. So I got in that deal based on my first commercial release was Mona Lisa's Can't Be Wasting My Time okay. on the, the Wayans Brothers soundtrack with the Lost Boys. Mm-hmm. Um, so I signed, my first publishing deal was, it was for 80K. Okay. 15, 80K, Rich. all right. Yeah, shit. How, much you got up there? How much you got up front? 80, uh, I got all 80K up front. I got all 80K up front. Okay. I got... Because um, I got a small set of 25 up yeah. front. <laughs> I didn't fuck with all that. I need it, though. I'm going to have to sell some more dope. So I'm going to take this 25,000, man. <laughs> yeah. So, I, you know, I, I got that up front. It was uh, three years. And, you know, you have to meet your song delivery commitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, MDRC. To get through. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was, 
um, four wholly written songs. Yeah. Which if you write 50%, that's eight that, that's songs. Bad. People never yeah. people never do yeah. that math. And right, you do right. 25 Cause, cause it's in, it's 12. Exactly. They be like, they it's be like, in the it's, contract. Wholly written no. songs. They be like, like it's, <laughs> it's only five songs. I'm about to kill them. I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You that's need 10. 10. That's 10. 10. <laughs> you need 10 or 15. Released. Yes, released. released. Re- not just recorded. Not just, not just recorded. 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 Recorded and released. 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 See, we're giving them contract On a major label. On a major label. Right. Yeah. So I went into suspension my first year. I bet you, <laughs> I bet you did. Yeah. I, bet you, I didn't meet the did commitment. I. I didn't meet the commitment. Right. I didn't, I didn't. meet the commitment. Yeah, you know. cheating. Ah. Yes. The 100%er guy over here <laughs> who was actually putting it out on his own album, too. And you got to love it. Some I shit. Do, you know, I love it. Nah, it's amazing. But my, my best clause in the contract was I got the reversion clause. So everything mm. came back to me in 10 years. Yeah. Oh, 10 is and great. And you were only 15 anyway. So. Right. Oh, so, shit. And it's 10 years after, you know, because I re-up with them a few times. Mm-hmm. You know, Valerie and I stayed in business for a, a while over there at Chrysalis. And, um, but yeah, everything came back to me, uh, I don't know, I guess about 2018. Yeah. So all of the yeah. you know, stuff. All of the stuff. All, all of the, the stuff. Yeah, See what happens the when you're not emotional? Mm. Right, exactly. Huh? Exactly. Mm. No, I learned that early. I've okay. had to relearn it. Okay. Yeah, of course. Over and over course. and over again. So Sweet Lady Drops. Sweet Lady Drops. I'm 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 newly hanging out with Tyrese at that time. Yeah. <laughs> um, because RCA had signed um a group called Elements of Life mm-hmm. that was on the same production company I was signed to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what was my guy that was over there? Kevin. Uh, 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 oh, gosh, gosh. Kevin, because that's who dropped me. Dang, I should know <laughs> oh, this. Kevin, ah! Kevin Evans. Kevin Evans. Kevin Evans. Yeah. Kevin Evans. Kevin Evans. Is... And Anthony, oh, gosh, who was right up under him? I can't remember his. Anthony Morgan. Anthony I think, Morgan. I think it was Anthony so Morgan. So Kevin, yeah. Kevin Evans, <laughs> see, when, we, when he signed EOL, Miss Life, then he was like, I went and sang and performed for him. He's like, we want you to. You next. Oh, that's I'm, amazing. I'm him. I'm yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, not to fast forward, but then then when Kevin got pushed out, I was I got pushed out too. So anyway, see you know it. Th- come on, man. Yeah. I yeah. got sliced yeah. two times. Yeah. 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 Um. So this drops. I was I'm meeting Tyrese for the first time. Um. I'm like, this dude is different. It's when he had the mm-hmm. thing right piercing. here. Yeah. Yeah. And he was mad because everybody thought he was Tyson Beckford. <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah, he, he was, he yeah. was, he was angry. Like we were, we was walking the streets in New York, and people, oh my God, Tyson! I'm like no fucking Tyson. I was like, it's not a bad guy. To kind be. of a cool <laughs> thing. Remind me to tell you. A, Let's go. A, okay, a, a, a <laughs> we're at a New Year's party uh, for the, the, you know, the the no, the Christmas party that the mayor of Atlanta throws. This mm-hmm. was in during Kasim's, um, you know, uh, era, and. A friend of my wife's, um, my wife had a bachelor party um, in Vegas, and they went to go see Tyson Beckford, you know, when he was doing uh, I think Chippendales, uh, whatever it was. Something, oh, yeah, one of those, yeah. one of those, yeah, yeah. She goes up, my, my wife's friend goes up to Tyrese, and was like, oh, so good to see you. We we loved the show last week. You were amazing. And Tyrese is, like, looking at her like, you know, she was, like, in Vegas. We were at the show in Vegas. And, you know, and then she goes off. He leans over to me. He's like... She thinks I'm Tyson Beckford. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> After all these this years. This is recent? This was... Oh, Kasim, yeah. Yes, this is not too long yeah, ago. 20, 2016, maybe. <laughs> After all these movies. It's still haunting him. Tyson Beckford is still haunting <laughs> You just a baby boy. You not the real <laughs> McCoy. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so Sweet Lady Drops. Mm-hmm. It's a smash. I mean, because I, I can tell by the way Tyrese is walking. He's walking like <laughs> he has a smash. He's talking mm-hmm. smashy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what changes? I know everything changes, but what? But, but what can you pick out at that moment when it that didn't get you out of suspension? Of charts. That by that time I had yes, I had had a couple of other songs okay. come out, and yeah, so I was out of suspension. Um. You know, I think by that time I hooked up with Noontime. Mm-hmm. You know, we were, you know, still like getting our collaborations together. Mm-hmm. So it was like a, we, we, you know, 
it, it felt good. It was like a validation because it's like, man, like now I'm turning on the radio mm-hmm. all the time. And then you watch the song crack the top 10, you know, R&B. And it's like, you know, I think it made it to like number eight, number seven, number eight, something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, wow, this is a real bona fide, you know, record. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think from there, it just, it, it, it motivated me more to want to, you know, put more songs on the radio. Then it kind of became about, you know, you go from I want to write to I want to get placements. Mm-hmm. Then it's I want to get placements to oh, now I want to get singles. singles. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like, you know, it goes from I want to get singles to now I want to get first singles, seconds. You know right. what I mean? Like yeah. I want right. to be, yeah. right. you know, and then from there it's like, I want us to be the go-to guys. Like now you come to yeah. us. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's like before you actually have a hit record and even sometimes when you do have that first hit record one or two you're a guy that people will listen and accept records for Mm -hmm. but there becomes a point in time when it's like okay let's book the session yes Mm -hmm. right there's a process yeah yeah let's a real process get jante in with x y and z we're not exactly because jante's record is going to be he's he's going to deliver something he's going to deliver our single he's going to deliver something exactly and when did that change when did that happen for you Ah, man, I think that happened, man, it was because it was post Sweet Lady. I think we started to get those opportunities. It was it was two records Um, when B. Cox and I did Get Gone for Ideal, Hmm. which I love. Thank you. Thank you. That was, you know, I think you could leave. Me. Yeah. Alone. alone. (laughs) Pack your bags. Yes. Get the hell on. Yeah. Because I what? don't want you no, no more. more. Yeah. That's that was, a, record was great, I was bro. inspired by a real person. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> it absolutely was. It absolutely this was. This is before you could block people. Yes. <laughs> this was, you know, she she also inspired I Miss You oh, shit. for Leah. For Leah. But, you know, back in the day when she used to try to bring that up, I would be quick, you know, I inspired, I miss you. I would also be like, you also inspired Get Gone. So there's that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bro, I feel you. I'm right, not even, you I'm you not also even inspired this one. So I'm not even going to do because I married mine. I'm not even going to oh, do it. No. I'm just, it just, let's just keep going. Yeah, um, so, oh, so it was man. Get Gone, that because that record showed like these guys can do records on new artists. Yeah. And get a new artist popping. Break, break it around. You know what I mean? Break, so that's one artists, thing, yeah. you know. And then for, for me, it was like the second time because we had Tyrese and now we have Ideal. Uh, but then... Who did that track? Was that... B. Cox. B. Cox, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B. Cox did get going. Yeah, yeah. The guy, one of the guys from Ideal was his cousin or something, right? It's, it's no, it's like, Donnie Scans. Donnie Scans is his cousin. cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Who produced I Don't Wanna. Donnie and Jazzy Faye Donnie produced I Don't Wanna. Yeah. And then when I Don't Wanna came, then it was like, okay, these guys are for real. They're doing real hits. Yeah. Because you, like, I Don't Wanna win number two on the charts with no video. And, you know, and we all from the era of, like, how important videos were. You had to have a video, you know. And, you know, number two, it was on the next Friday soundtrack before it was on. Uh, Romeo Must Die. Mm-hmm. So Wait, it was on two soundtracks. It was on two soundtracks. It was on next Friday first. Well, you was getting paid. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> man. Yeah. Shit. What did you buy? Man, what? what did what's I... the first? What's the first crazy Jante? Was it the Benz purchase? It might have been that Benz. Hmm. I mean, it's, it, it might have been the that Benz. It was not on the streets. Mm. Nah, it was, it was not on the streets. Yeah, yeah, it was brand yeah. new. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, did I you thought... have to pay the overage? To be the first guy? No, 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 no. man. I I I found a guy in Athens, Georgia, who yeah. who who got one for me. And I drove up to Athens and and you know, drove yeah. it back. Yeah, that was killing that, yeah. noon, that noontime yeah. parking lot. You, was you, you tra- the same way you'll travel for a woman, you'll travel you, for that you, car. You'll travel for right. a car. Yeah. You got damn right. I flew to yeah. LA to pick up a car once. As huh? you should. And and shipped it back, but I, yeah. I, I like a you know I, I need to see it. I'm yeah. gonna fly out there. Yeah. Yeah. When your money get different, you yeah, you've been rich for a long time, bro. <laughs> yeah, when, you, when your money when your money get different, yeah, yeah. You, you know you you have particular tastes. Yeah, yeah. I need and, to see it. I need to. 
I need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need let me see to. What, let me see. What, okay. Yeah. You know, because all, all, all new cars don't smell the same. Nah, nah. You just gotta nah. touch it like that. You, know? you gotta touch it like you that. You gotta, you, <laughs> 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 you gotta get on the dash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, call my, yo, yeah. No, so I, I no, I'm not going to. Go ahead. Cash? Stunt. Stunt. To <laughs> cash? I wanted to see how, because I had just gotten the black card. And so oh, I wanted to oh, the see the heavy one, the heavy one, yeah. right? The yeah, one that like make it clinks now, when you now, drive that. Now, it, <laughs> now a lot of cards are made out of that, but like the black was the first, first one. And I just, want, I was just like wanted to see if I can do the whole thing. And I handed them, and they swipe it, and I'm like, wow, that's cool. The whole car, <laughs> yeah, the that's whole car. Wow. that's cool. That's Come cool on for the whole car, <laughs> that for was, the whole that car. Was awesome. <laughs> I need to know this too. Yeah, though. yeah. How old were you with a black card? And we're, for people that don't understand, he's talking about the American Express Centurion. Huh, right. Huh. I can't spell that. <laughs> right. Centurion. Centurion. Yeah. And, um, it, and it's the unlimited. You can you can go purchase a jet. Yeah. You know, they're going to want that jet money. They're going to want the they're money. Jet money. But, 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 yeah. but you can go purchase one. B by the time I got this, I, I was like 25. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, 25. I'm just yeah. a small 25. set of 25. Small set, yeah. small set of 25. Yeah. Small, small set, set of 25. 25, this yeah. is, you know, just, we belong together is out. Oh, this is, we this belong is, together. This is, this is all of it. Oh. Everything is. So that means he wrote, we belong together at 24. Yeah, right. right. What? Yeah, around, Man. yeah, I think we were around that time. He was yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah, at that time it was, you know, I was, you know. Why? He was in it. I was in it for the good and for the bad. Huh. For the good and for the bad. My yeah. question as we go through these progressions with, yeah. you know, so many records. Um, what are you feeling as, what what is the artist John Tay Austin feeling like? Because there has to be moments, moments within all of this where you're like. These are my children. This could be, this could, this could this, be this my, my time. This could have this broke could, my career could, as an artist. Like, yeah. Maybe I should. Absolutely. I, I said it a hundred times. I said it a hundred times. I, you know, I'm conflicted about, you know, giving records away. Um, you know, I'm conflicted about. I, it was almost like, um, you ever see the movie Happy Gilmore? Yes. You know how like he started doing really well at golf, but he kept telling people he was a hockey player. Yeah, hockey player. <laughs> like you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. I'm an artist, mm -hmm. and you know, but I'm like, I want to hold on to something. And uh, my manager, Chris Hicks. Mm -hmm. You know, he would always have to talk me out. He would, you know, but he would say, listen, the only reason you hang on to records is if you are not confident that you can make another one. But I believe you can make another one. So let's give that we have an opportunity to place these records and put these records on people who are coming out. You'll get your shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it's going to happen, right. but uh, yeah. So like it's, it is frustrating. It was frustrating because like, even though I'm making all of these hits, I'm like, you know, man, I've, you know, I can do this. Like, you know, I'm singing the demos. They're, you know, they're doing my demo note for note. Yeah. No for yeah. no. You know what I mean? Bar for <laughs> bar. Bar, 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 for bar. Right. right. So it's so like. You're hearing yourself. Right. On the radio. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or a version of yourself. Yeah. 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 So it's, That's you tough. know, That's tough. like to the point where, like when we were talking about when Can't Help But Wait came out for Trey Songs, like getting calls like, you wrote that, didn't you? I can tell. I can, it's it's your. Even yeah. we were just talking about because I didn't know. Yeah. We were just talking about, I was like, I'm replaying the record in my mind and I mm -hmm. just hear you. Your vibrato, your, I hear the whole thing. I was like, that's for damn sure a John Tay Austin record that yeah. John Tay Austin could have did. Yes, yeah. Could have put out easily. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so it, it becomes and said frustrating. You changed his life. Right. Right. And you're happy for that. Like yeah, you're not yeah. like I'm I'm not happy that anybody else got a hit. It's just kind of like your own personal war that you're fighting. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, what do I have to do? You know, like I'm because I'm celebrating their success and not jealous of it, but man, I would like to be an artist as as well. Mm -hmm. You know. But you know. We kept writing. What's the record <laughs> that you didn't want to give away? Is there one that you just like, fuck? Man, I'm trying to, what's a... 
the, um, there's one that stands out. I'm just trying to think if that's the one I want to go with. I think it might have been. It, no, it wasn't Can't Help But Wait because we did that specifically for Trey um, with Stargate. Um, I think I don't want to. Hmm. Like at the time, because it wasn't for Aaliyah. Okay. Yet. Mm-hmm. You know, we did it and then Chris heard it. Chris Hicks heard it and was like, oh, <laughs> this is this is getting played, you know, for Aaliyah. I was there too. Yeah, yeah. You were in the on at Sony Studios in New York. You were just <laughs> Yeah. We was, we was like, that nigga cold, man. Oh that nigga, man. Thank that you. Nigga fucking writes. He tank, you need to write like that. You see how you writing like I will copy your doubles, like be without you. Be without. Yeah. Okay, so I need to repeat some stuff, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> some, he do some dope repeats and then and then you he would do, do the t- you would do yeah. the telephone echoes. You need the telephone echoes. Turn oh, the telephone yeah. on, man. John T's doing the telephone. Like all that stuff. The telephone. Kind of was like an early auto tune thing. It, right? it, it, like it, it, it was. I, I think I was the, one was of the first there. people. Yeah, it yeah. was because that's when you where I learned it. it yeah. you, would, you would get excited about the telephone. Oh, the telephone, telephone come on! Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. put the telephone. We gotta on use it. the telephone, man. <laughs> put the telephone on. Absolutely. Why you can't EQ the telephone right? Yeah, so I, I got time. that from y'all. So I'm the going telephone. to interview y'all real quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, real quick, real quick. Come over. Come over. Yeah. I got I got both I got both of you guys in the room. Yeah. And for a long time, people did not know that that was Tank's voice. Yeah. yeah. People didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And because I want to, were you even credited on there? I didn't get credited on there till late. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like so, people until just people did, found they, out, right, right, and then they, I think, people themselves just credited me, and then somehow so, it ended up as a credit. So as a but fan, it's not on the project. So as, as a, a fan, credit. right now, mm-hmm. I, I need, I need the backstory. I, I have to have the backstory, man. So I'm gonna give you my perspective because his okay. perspective I've is more heard, important. Yeah, but right, I've heard him tell it. I love it because he's, he's spot on. His is more important. <laughs> We're at another studio mm-hmm. recording. Yep. Um, it's me. I think Jerry's with me. Uh, I don't know if Cliff is with me. Um, you were down at Chunk King, right? Because we were at Sony. You guys were, were you probably, at Chunk King? Yeah, probably, yeah. probably. I think so. And he was like, uh, he was like, uh, he's like, Aaliyah recording, recording around the corner. I was like, oh, shoot, let's go over there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Check on her and see what's going on. And so, you know, we walk in the streets of New York, about to run into the Aaliyah session. As soon as we walk in, she like, ooh, Tank can do it. And then Jante's like, Tank can do it. <laughs> yep. I was like, you have no music out at this point. No. Okay. okay. Nothing. Okay. But we knew he was a singing ass <laughs> nigga. Though. Right. Like, right. 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 Okay. But you're Everybody. no longer a background singer anymore either. Or are you still a background Kinda singer? Kinda for genuine. Okay. I'm fighting to be. You still want to do it? I damn right. I mean, to this day, you still. I be. still want to sing backgrounds <laughs> for genuine right now. <laughs> to this day, yeah. I want to sing backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the and, best. And John T was like, "Get in the booth." I was like, "This is wild." I just want to say just hi. Got here, just got man. here, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just get in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> and Jante, of course, Jante sings. Ooh, he gives me the notes. Yeah. Like this thing, give me, give me, give me the, give me, come on, man, give me. Yeah. And yeah. I sing that. I think we we spent about like five, ten minutes yeah. on that. Sing that. I was like, that's I was it. like a stack it. Because yeah. he, 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 then he put like a, a mid note. Oh, it yeah. was, man, it was crazy. And I just come out the booth and I'm like, that's it. Cool. And we just talking. Think and Liz, nothing of it. And Liz just talking to me about my style and what I need to do and you need to dress like. And you know, you like a one man Jodeci and you better. And Jante's like, yeah, you here? Do yeah. the thing. Yeah. But Jante yeah. was like, you know, when we listened to the record, like, I'm in there taking notes. Because yeah. <laughs> I had already heard this record. Okay. I had already heard the record. Mm-hmm. And then when she's, when he put her on, I was just like, this thing is cold. Because I was in line. You know what I'm saying? It was him and it was static. So for my label, static. you know, even at Blackground, you know what I'm saying? Their go-to was we need static or we need Jante. Yeah. So I was mm-hmm. in line just kind of waiting when, my turn my to be sick. Wait, waiting yeah. for my, I would say for my writing to get on that level because I wasn't there yet. You know what I'm saying? So these were the guys that I was just kind of like watching kind of in awe of. You know what I'm saying? So when they yeah. put me in the studio on that, on that, I didn't think nothing of it. But then, you know, as it, as it looks in 2023, wow, wow. thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now, Okay, now give us the, before he gets to the studio. Okay, yeah, so we were in there, she, uh, so Aaliyah had cut, 
most of the record. And, you know, hearing this part, it's like, okay, like, you know, it's got to be some somebody that's... Because she was like, I think somebody else should do this. Oh. And so we was like, okay. Because it was, you know, the story of, come on, so she's calling, you know, her dude. Her dude. And so it was like, yeah. okay. She just touched story down. Story-wise, right. Yeah. What I have to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, know what that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we thought like, okay, at this point in the story is, you know, him participating now. Like, you know what I mean? And so it was like a call out back to her. Okay. And so he's like, you know, man, who can sing this shit? Like, who, you know, who, and we going through, like, you know, I think Usher might have come up, you know, we throwing people out. Right. And then Tank walks in and we're like, like, Tank can do it. That's, That's crazy. It. And yeah. we said, I think we said G. I think we did say genuine. So it was like, so but. You never walk, yeah, never <laughs> walk in. Go check on your friend. Just, yeah. Just, you know I mean, like. Yeah. Crazy. That's great. That, and, and, but that's like such that's the yeah. That's the juice of the song, right? Yeah, like it's that's the course. you know, that part, like that's the sing along part. That's the yeah, you know, that's the flavor. And Absolutely. then what, two years ago, three years ago, you get another check for it. Cause Kaylani. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. For can I? Absolutely. Which is odd, Kaylani, that you didn't call Chief to come and do his part again. Right. I mean, he might have done it for you. Okay. He might have done it for you. I'm pretty sure he did it. Yeah. yeah. Call me on stage sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sold out shows. <laughs> Sold out call shows. Me. Yes. Yeah, no, man. No. So because that that's, and that leads me to my next question. Mm. How does it feel to be sampled at this younger age mm. that you are? Like, you're not 70, 80 years old where yeah. you got a clear sample. You're like, oh, who? Yeah. What is yeah. these young punks that want to do my song? Right. <laughs> Send it to me. I don't right. like what he's singing on no my Yeah, tunes. I don't really like what he's saying yeah. on that. Yeah. He was my, yeah. my, my wholesome song into yeah. a whole song. Into a right. nasty yeah. record. Um, but, you know, you still a young dude, man. Now, they're sampling your music. Already. Kehlani, yeah. Bryson Tiller. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. They're sampling your records already. Absolutely. No, it, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Um... I mean, and it makes, you know, it, it like makes you feel seen because it's like, OK, the younger generation, you know, I, it's, it's funny that you say like the 70 year old guy. Right. Because you like you don't want to be that. And I've had to call a couple of them. Right. To, to, you, to clear some stuff. So that's why. I, yeah, exactly. And I'm it's not like, taking shots know, at y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. They feel like, <laughs> you know, but I, I don't want to be the person that's like, oh, you know. Um, you know, music should be this way. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to have more respect and blah, 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 because when I meet young writers, young artists, young producers, what I've learned is they do respect it. Mm -hmm. They Absolutely. know it. They follow it. Like, yeah. they have nothing but respect and yeah, admiration. Yeah. That's why they're sampling. Like, they, they're they paying you a compliment, mm -hmm. you know, to me. So, like... And a check. And, and a check. So, when it comes through, like, you know, I'm like, it's... I always listen for the creativity of it. Like, wow. Have you ever not cleared something? I'm trying to see. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. You know what? No, I think there might have been like an EDM version of, I can't remember of something I might not have cleared. You don't like EDM. I love EDM. <laughs> but Tank it, loves EDM. That's why. It I, wasn't, it, for whatever they reason. They didn't do it right. Yeah, yeah. It felt like, you know, something that I'm hearing in just like a one-way bar in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. you know, like off the, <laughs> like, but not, but not in a flyway, not the fly Amsterdam that we're talking. Okay. Nothing. Okay. I, love Am I love Amsterdam. I love Amsterdam. If you're going to sample Jonte Austin's records, <laughs> do it right. Make sure it's fly. Make sure it's fly. This guy right. This, this, guy, be this fly. guy is fly. This guy's yes. fly. This guy's fly. I mean, you know, make sure his music is fly. Yeah. Okay? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about your experience with Mariah Carey. Hmm. Okay. Because okay. that's, you know. Before we get to Mariah Carey, I do have to let y'all know. For I don't want to, you know Aaliyah didn't want to cut that. No, I did not know that. She didn't want to cut that one. She wasn't sold on I don't want to. She wanted to cut I Miss You. That was what got us to New York. And, you know. So and, how do you sell? Because yeah. now the writers need to see this. Yeah, they need to hear yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. How do you sell a major superstar? How do you sell them? the record that they don't want, but you know that they need. Right. So, you know, I can't take credit for that. That was all Chris Hicks. Okay. Who made the, he was like, I tell you what, let's make a deal. You can cut, I miss you. 
but you have to cut this one as well. <laughs> okay. That's the deal. And she was like, okay. And then when she got on it, it was. Chris has know, always she, been good with conversation. He's, absolutely. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah, I know. He can finesse. Oh, he can finesse. Oh, absolutely. He's always I mean, had to, Absolutely. <laughs> he, is, he is from the Bay Area. Absolutely. Hey, exactly. You know, exactly. You know, like, you hey, know. man. Hey, man. Say, man. <laughs> so, so, yeah. It's light and easy yeah. what he's saying, yeah. too. It's, Ab- it's, yeah. He's yeah. like, you know what? This feels, this feels right. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I like the way you're talking to me. I'll do it. Yeah. So, so you know, so that's how that's how we got her on it. Wow. That's and that, that was it. So Mariah Carey, yes. What is that call like? <laughs> so the call comes from JD. Okay. JD's like, you know, come to uh, you know, come to the studio tonight. Um, at this point, you know, obviously JD has such a long history with her, you know, starting with always be my baby, going back to that, right? Mm-hmm. And and um, you know, now B. Cox has done, you know, songs with her. So they're like a nucleus. And um, but I was excited. So he's like, you know, Mariah's going to be here tonight, you know, come down. And, you know, she gets there and Mariah doesn't show up till like midnight. That's her session. Session starts at, at, at midnight. midnight. At midnight. She likes to, she's a night owl. Okay. Hmm. Absolutely. Likes okay. to, likes to write and work, you know, late. So, you know, at the time I didn't, I have, I've had to learn that. Mm-hmm. The first day I showed up, I was there like 6 p.m. Just <laughs> you there six hours. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Where's she at? Okay, you, right. you didn't crash. Like, <laughs> you're right, right. Now, but I'm like, you know, let me know now. Let me know when she comes in. You know, let me know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm, ready. I'm ready. Right, right, but I'm be right back. Right, 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 right. And this is levels, right? Yeah. Because I'm sure at this point you have massive records by this mm-hmm. point. Yeah. But you don't have a Mariah record. We don't have a Mariah. Right. This is still Mariah. So what is interesting is that. This is Mariah coming off of glitter, yeah. mm-hmm. movie, and this. Mm-hmm. And so there were a couple of people around me who were like, why are you going to spend your time on this? Right. Like, right. and They thought the ship had sailed. Thought the ship had sailed. Mm-hmm. I have a fast rule about legends. Like, legends stay legends. That's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's like you've earned that. Right. You've earned that. You've earned that and you're always one hit away. I don't yeah. care yeah. if you ain't had a hit in 10 years. Yeah. If you right. call, you know what I mean? That that's how I feel about legends and at that point, you know, this is one sweet day. Right. Come walking through the door. Right. Like, what do you mean if we don't write for and that's for, what it is. That's we do. We and that's what we do. <laughs> and we're going to look into these cameras. Yeah. That's what it should be. That's Absolutely. what it should be. They've earned it. Mm-hmm. Go, Absolutely. And if you are a hit maker, go give them that hit yep. record. 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. So uh, Mariah gets there, and I'm just sitting in the corner just quiet. Her and Jermaine and Brian are catching up. And You're the fly you on know, the wall at this I'm point. I'm just fly on the wall, just, you know, just sitting. Because, um, again, this is, so this is after Aaliyah. This is after Chris Brown. This is after, you know what I mean? This yeah, is we after. Get to CB too. Yeah, this is. Own and Poppy. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. so, you know, after about 30 minutes, we're sitting there. Um, the first song that Jermaine played, um, the song Can I Get Your Number? And they already had that, him and Brian already had that hook. And so he was like, okay. She was like, oh, I want to start with this. Let's like do some verses. And so then, you know, she turned. She's like, And who are you? <laughs> and I'm it like, starts right, that way. Right. Yeah. She was like, and and she was like, who are you? She was like, I'm, I'm guessing you. She was like, are you a part of this? And I was like, I look at Jermaine, and Jermaine is like, yeah, yeah, he writes with us. And she was like, okay, all right, let's write, let's start. Like it wasn't no, what have you done? Yeah, yeah no, you know, it. just like okay, cool. I just let's need to, to know who you were, yeah, yeah. and and, yeah. and now we're good. And then. You know, we we hit it off from there. And Mariah is like a brilliant songwriter in her own mm-hmm. right. So, mm-hmm. you know, being able to collaborate with someone like, so the experience of someone who can write for themselves, like she doesn't really need anyone to write, mm-hmm. you know, but throwing out ideas, the way that she hears things, the way that she rhymes words and melodies. And then you you're also hearing her sing. Mm. And so it's like one of those moments 
the first time I had a moment like that, we go back to Tony Braxton, but it was like the second time when I first worked with Tony and Tony walks in the booth and you like hear that you voice hear come it. over the mic and yeah, you're, like, you're like, oh, that's it. This is Tony Braxton. That's it. <laughs> and the same yeah. thing. So yeah. before Mariah even went, Mike, just her sitting there with the pad writing and she's humming and I'm like trying not to like smile, but I'm like, yeah. damn, yeah. this is Mariah Carey. Yeah. I think I had that moment <laughs> when we worked on Ron Isley. Yeah. 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 Man, I that's... was like, he hit one of them notes. He hit one of them yeah, la da da. I said, man, man. It's him. This is a yeah. dream come true. Yeah. It's him. He's really in yeah. the booth right He's now. He's really in the booth. Singing one of my records. Yeah. How, what, when did you have that moment? Any artists for you? I'm like, I'm like the fan. You are. You know, absolutely. I'm, 100%. So everybody, when they, when they get in them like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's like, I don't know, man. I, it's, it's, I don't, it's an unexplainable feeling. It's just like... To have these type of people singing your records. To, mm -hmm. Just to yeah. have the voice. Like, you've heard this voice everywhere. You've heard this voice yeah. on massive records. You've yeah. heard, you're yes. a fan of this voice. And now yeah. this voice, in a sense, belongs to you. Right. Mm -hmm. You're a part of this voice yes. now. You're like, sharing in this experience Gladys with Knight. them. That's a great one. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's a great, great one. one. That's a great one. Gladys, that was my first time where I was just like, no way. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, first of all, she sang it in one take. And yeah, that's a, that's a whole yeah. other. Literally one top yeah. to bottom. Yeah. Yes. She yeah. studied it for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Played it over and over. So she said, I'm ready. Said, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We'll set it all up. Set it all up. She went in there. Top to bottom. It's incredible. No auto-tune. Nah. No stuff. You know, just some slight verb. Raw, top to bottom. What else would you like? That's it. That's how they. <laughs> that's how they do I looked it. at the engineer. I was like, "You don't even know what to say." Like, I'm. Maybe we should tell her to do it again. Just <laughs> right. Like, I got. I got to feel like I did something here, right? Like, I'm, saying, I'm, just, I'm gonna just tell her. She's not gonna call me back. Yeah, right. I'm gonna, like I'm I did nothing. I'm gonna, yeah. tell her, I'm gonna tell her to do it again. Okay. The, great. Great. Yes. Um. Let's just let's get one more. One more like let's that. Let's just get yeah. one more. Um and 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 just see where we end up. See what we gotta. <laughs> she did one more. Yeah. Top to, to bottom. bottom. Flawless. That's crazy. Fuck it. Come out. Yeah. Come on out. Come on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, Miss Knight. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Knight, for coming by. God bless you. Yeah. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. So do you write "Shake It Off" in that first session? So we did. Can I get your number? The first night. Second night was "Shake It Off." Okay. Second night was Shake It Off. Who did the oots? Oot, 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 oot. Who did So that? we had the mic on, on the demo. It was me, Mariah, and Mariah's assistant. No, whose we, idea was the oots? That was Mariah. Because that that's Mariah. some classic shit. Yeah, that's is. Mariah. It is. That's Absolutely. Cla I got to give her her props. I got to give her And, and, and boobops. Yeah. And those yeah. I've never written a song that with any, any of those, of those yeah. classic yeah. old, like. That everybody yeah. in the crowd is going to sing. Just going to sing. All the way I've yeah. never written a yeah. song with that. Mm -hmm. I was like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was a vibe. Man, what? <laughs> a real vibe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's MC all. That's classic MC all day. All day. So, yeah, can I get your number? Shake it off. Um, it's like that. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then and then we were done. We were like we that that those were all in those sessions, and um, you know, so L.A. Reed, you know, who was the head of Def Jam at the time, he was like, "Listen, like, I feel like we got something. I feel like you know, Shake It Off can probably be our first single, but I think." y'all got one more in you so I'm gonna send her back down and that was the We Belong Together session that was the you know so it started with LA's like I think y'all got one more and sent her back down you know um, this time it was Manuel Seal the Manuel first Seal yeah. hey listen listen man <laughs> yeah and cause unless unless you're in the music business don't really know that name. Mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, he never really came outside like that. No. But if you in this music business, Manuel Seal <sighs> is fucking special. I hope you see this, brother. Absolutely. You are Absolutely special. Absolutely, Manuel. Yeah. You're special. 
That guy is special. 100%. Those records that he's been a part of, mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. Incredible. So yeah, yeah, yeah go. You know, we 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 give uh, you we have give to. real you have to. respect, real shout flowers. outs, flowers. Like yeah. We, man. Yeah. Yeah. We respect the game up here. No, no, you have to. And that's I mean, that's why it's important for me to bring him up too. Like, yes. you know, because it's there is, you know, these big songs, I feel like there could probably be some temptation to like want to hoard credit for yourself. Yes. But there's enough. For, for and everybody made such a significant contribution. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I tell people, like, you know, it's Mariah and I wrote We Belong Together together. together like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, she was just as much, you know, it wasn't like, oh, a word here, a word there. No, Mariah's uh, in the yeah. studio writing this record. Yeah. We wrote a song together. Manuel and JD, you know, produced it and... So we worked on this record. It was like, we worked till like five, six in the morning. And I laid the demo for it. And There's a Jante demo to We Belong Together? There's a Jante demo to We Belong Together. Wow. Oh, we gotta Can we figure out a way to sell that as an NFT? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I want it. There I, is I, I, I want it. I just came up with that. I, I, don't, I don't know. You know who probably <laughs> has it is LA because he told me later, he was like, I knew she was going to have some because she left Atlanta from the studio, landed in New York, and L.A. was like, she woke me up and was like, you have to hear this record. She came by and played him my demo. Like, that's how excited yeah. she was about the record. Yeah. Like, you got to hear this song. This in L.A. was like, the first time I heard it, it was your demo. And I was like, this is it. Can't sleep at night. We got Can't sleep at literally. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're writing this on the record. radio. Yeah. Bro, like, we can dial up your lyrics in our head. Yeah. Have you <laughs> not you. noticed we've been doing this? Yeah. Thank you. No. Yeah. We've been I dialing have. up. I have. That's how special you are as a songwriter. Yeah. Thank you. Like, we can we can be like, oh, and, uh, and start going into what your songs are. All-timers, bro. that's crazy, Thank bro. you. All-timers, bro. Thank you. Niggas don't got that. Jante wrote for me. <laughs> Yes. Actually, he didn't write for me. I stole a song <laughs> that he It had. wasn't for you? It wasn't for me. I don't know who that song was for. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't for you? No, you Girl, played that I song. I want to be oh, You that. played that song and said, I want it. Can I have that song? I still play that record. And you was like, I think he was like, you want that one? I said, like, yes, I want it. Can I please have that song? Because yeah. Jazzy Faye produced it. Absolutely. Jazzy Faye Is it Jazzy Faye Jazzy and Manny Fresh. Yes. Did, yeah. They produced it. They, I think they played it for me because I was okay. working with Cash Money at the time. Yeah. We were all in. That was when we had Patchwork just Bro, I was living so... There. Bro. Or you've always wanted to be a thug. What do you mean you were working with Cash Money? Like, <laughs> I always find myself in <laughs> these what, what rooms. What is this, bro? In these play, it's it's in the, the name. In these hoods. Yeah. It's the name. Bro, all, you can my, take tank anywhere. all my early shows, I was on with rappers. <laughs> yeah. Tank, he just fit. he's gonna fit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With whoever, uh, Miracle and all these guys and C Murder, <laughs> I'm on these shows. I'm like, like, what am I doing here? Nicest guy ever. What am I doing here? I'm, what am I? I'm singing. Yeah. I sing. But Cash Money was like, I was the first. I was the first hip hop and R and B collab. Right. Okay. <laughs> I was before Usher and Lil John and Ludacris. Mine just didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the first never works. My work record just wasn't as good. The first re never works. But I works. fucking tried. You did. I fucking tried. You, did. you said I tried. <laughs> I fucking tried. <laughs> you had you set the blueprint though. That's what it is. See, you like, got damn love up songs, in the man. sky like thugs, niggas oh, tonight like thugs. Everybody want a ball like a thug. Yeah, that, that's it. Party like a thug. <laughs> It don't sound good now. <laughs> He's like, Woo! that's it? I'm, I'm telling Manny Fresh on you. He said it was hot. He told me it was good. And, and, and Manny got so many hits, I ain't gonna argue with and, and Birdman rapped on it. Come on, man. I was trying. Manny, Manny Fresh produced the greatest love song ever. Yeah? Back that ass up. Back that ass up. <laughs> Wait, what? The greatest, that's the greatest love song Ever. He's a big fine woman. <laughs> <laughs> girl, who is you playing with? No, it's not girl. <laughs> That's the best it's, question. It's, 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 it's not. Who are you playing with? Who is you playing with? 
Hold you. That's the yeah. best question of all time. Who are like, you playing with? Because it can't be me. Because you, I know you're not playing with me. That's a, that's that's a, what, that's a scary question to ask. Right. Who yeah, you playing yeah, with? It's, you it's loaded. It's loaded. It's loaded. It's loaded. It's loaded. Oh, you yeah. never know how a woman is going to take that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It depends and, on the man that asks her. Yeah. Who, girl, who, you, who, who is you playing with? Because that, that could go so many different ways. It yeah. could be abusive. It could be. Yeah, yeah, I don't go out much, but I think I'm going to ask that next time man. I go outside. Man, what? <laughs> Hey, oh, hoes, who was you playing play with? Hey, hoes, <laughs> who was you playing with? Please text me and let me know how, how that goes over. <laughs> I, I might be needing bail money. <laughs> I, got, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I love that song. Uh, yeah, I, I it's the you greatest, 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 greatest love song, song ever. Yeah, yeah that's fair. That, that Mariah, that Mariah stories are great, bro. Yeah, man. Mariah stories are great, bro. Um, and, and we need some more stories from you. Um, Huh. Uh, you you, you uh, mentioned. Um, I know where I want to go. go, go it's, your, it's your turn. Go. Mary? Go. Go. Mary. Go. You have arguably two of the, the biggest, biggest records. R&B records. records of, R&B all records of all time, bro. We Belong Together was Song of the Decade on Billboard. Oh, yeah. okay. Come on. Give us. Yeah. Come on. Give yeah. us. Yeah. Talk, yeah. Your yeah. talk. Yeah. talk your talk. Talk your talk. Talk your talk. Be Without You was named the number one R&B song of all time. Talk your shit! Uh, Billboard. Yeah. Uh, sh- Same talk- year. Yeah, 2005. Same year, too. Same year. Same year. Huh. Huh. I don't know what your friends have done. <laughs> <laughs> Trophies. I don't know what your friends Same, have done. Championships. Yeah. 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 So 14 weeks and 15 weeks, respectively. Yeah. You Bill Russell. Disrespectfully. Yeah. He got he got more right. rings than fingers. Mm. Right. Right. You gotta remember it's only fifty two weeks in a year. Tough. Huh. Huh. We're doing math. Now, now we're doing math. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm not great at. Now we're doing math. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Give it come on. Yeah, so come Mary. On. Be without um, you, man. Be without you. Wow. Where to start? Where to start? Um so initially. It was going to be, Mary was doing a Greatest Hits album. Okay. That album was supposed to be a Greatest Hits album. Um, you know, Chris Hicks again. Um, we're gonna, Chris, Hicks. Chris, Chris, your Instagram is about to blow up because people are going to be Chris. Googling. It was yeah, like, man, yeah, yeah. Who, who is this Chris Hicks guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to know are him now. Are you still now. managing? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Don't, yeah. Don't worry. Exactly. We're going to bring Chris Hicks on here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, Chris was talking to Ken Duke. Um, who at the time mm-hmm. was married to Mary and was like, you know, you got to, you know, you got to get her with, you know, my guys, you know, they got, you know, you got to get in with my guys. And um, so he calls B Cox and I, and he was like, man, I need a record. I need a record for Mary, you know, get me something. So I show up to Doppler one night, B Cox has the track up. Um, his cousin Jason Perry had come mm-hmm. in to like do some things. So before we get to Mary, so the funny part about that is at the time, B. Cox was producing a lot with his other cousin Kendrick, Kendrick Dean, mm-hmm. Kendrick, yeah, who we yeah, love yeah. absolutely. Kendrick had a date that night. <laughs> oh, I, hope, I hope he's married to that woman. Oh, Kendrick had a uh, date a that night. At least a baby. Two. And he. Was not able to make the session, so that's how Jason Ooh. Perry got the call to come play, get production. That's like get I sh- writer's credit. I showed up to the studio thirty minutes after they had finished writing. Gone. Ooh, in sync. Gone. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. That I shit. Did to this day. Yeah. I to tried this. to. You, th- you think about those to moments. Throw lyrics. Right, trying to hey, what? hey. <laughs> the song was done. You think we can switch that to because this right. right here? Hey, no, Jay, we good, we good. It's not. Can it be long? I want yeah, what if we make the song long? <laughs> long, <laughs> anything. <laughs> long. So my brother Kendrick, <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. Ooh, that's shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so he goes on a date. He goes on a date. So uh, JP comes in and and does the bridge, and. Um, so B. Cox has done his part. He's what laid a down. Bridge. The... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, ta- I'm always mm. there. Yeah. Mm. No matter what, mm. good and bad. <laughs> right or wrong, all day, every day. Mm. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. 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 JP killed that, man. And so the track was done, and um, it was, I was in the studio. 
And that record, Be Without You, took probably about 30 minutes to do. To write the greatest R and B song. <laughs> okay, go we ahead. wrote we wrote it thirty minutes. I didn't I didn't write it down on paper. You reached out it. I didn't know. No, I I do it in my head. I do mm -hmm. the whole song in my head, and then I just they call that freestyle. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but it's yeah, like they, so. It's all. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, and and then we send it, and you know, Chris is pushing for this record. You know, he sold on it. But I think at the time, from what I had heard, you know, Jimmy wasn't quite, Jimmy Iovine wasn't quite sold on it. And Ron Fair heard it and was like, if y'all don't put this out, y'all are crazy. Shout out to Ron Fair. <laughs> like Ron, Tear away you, pants, you know. Ron Fair. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Ron is, he, he, you know, he wears like the pants that they, they can turn into shorts. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow, Ron. Niggas don't be knowing we that. Said, Ron. Wow, Ron. <laughs> wow, Ron. <laughs> I was working with Keisha Cole. I'm like, yeah, this nigga got on. Wow, yeah, Ron. On? <laughs> multi purpose pants. Right, okay. right. He's going to join gonna you, know. you on a run. He was getting ready, you know, he was yeah. ready to go hoop Might, with might you. go jog, might go to the strip club. Right. You know, it just, just depends. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing, 21. Yeah, 21. yeah exactly. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah, so between Ron Fair, Chris Hicks, everybody pushing it, then she does the record, and then it's like, you know, Okay, now we're doing an album. It's no longer a greatest hits. We're doing an album. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's how the the breakthrough album came together. But yeah, it was originally supposed to be for a greatest hits album. And we did Be Without You. It's about to put Be Without You as a Target Walmart exclusive. Yeah. On the greatest hits album. <laughs> but it became an album. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Be Without You. And that was, yeah, December of 2005. So coming out of Summer, the summer of We Belong Together. Yeah. The winter of Be Without You was, you know. And what wow. year is that? 2005. <laughs> At any time in 2006, do you say to yourself, <laughs> I'm that nigga? <laughs> like, oh, did yeah. you have a. Yeah, he okay. said, okay. Oh, I respect yeah. it. Oh, yeah. To my detriment. <laughs> to my detriment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck you mean y'all don't want to send a jet? Yeah. I'm ho, that nigga. Ho, who is you playing ho, with? Ho, who is you playing with? He's saying that to executives, though. He's saying that to executives. He ain't saying yeah. that. You had to have. You <laughs> had to. Did. Oh, shit. <laughs> you have to have that moment where you look, you look at yourself and you, ain't nobody fucking with me right now. It was and yeah, you kind of wear it a little bit, right? Because you go from like we were just talking, we were talking about progression earlier, right? So from you know placement to single, single to top ten, you know. Now it's after those records happen because so it was so two thousand five was you know we belong together, shake it off, be without you, but then. We also had Bow Wow and Sierra's Like You. Like You. Mm. Um, and I forget there was something else, right? And so then it becomes like you start feeling like, I know how to do this now. Now it's like I'm Michael Jordan. Like if I can command a 50-point game right. whenever I feel like commanding it. Like, you know, now it's, now it's mega hits. It's not just, you know, it all is starting to make sense. Everything makes sense. Now, when I hear the track, the melody, it all, now it's all just making sense. So now you, and, it's a science. Yeah. And it's, and, and, and you got it. And I got it. On demand. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's yeah. levels. Yeah. It's just levels. Like, that's a, like, I need one of those. Like, number one, hot 100. Yeah, fifteen weeks. Yeah, yeah. Yikes! That's yeah. a that's a, that's and a you start that's a bumping rhythm. yourself on it on the charts. Yes, right. Yeah, on that chart though. Yeah, that's sickness, bro. Like that's just just yeah. Like shake it off didn't get to number one because of we belong. Like we were we were arguing or competing with ourselves. With ourselves. Yeah, man. That's that's when you congratulations, yeah. brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. God is yeah. good. Yeah. God yeah. is good. Those things don't great. happen for everyone. I mean, obviously, you know that. And Absolutely. This is something that we all strive. This is why we wake up to do music to have these moments where it's like, oh, I did it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, all those hours, all those no's. Because that's the other part. And, I'm, you know, I'm sure somebody's watching this and they're going to be like, he just had this celebrated career. And it's like, even at that level, there's still no's. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's still people questioning. Yeah. That's true. The formula, the yeah. science mm -hmm. that Ajante Austin has perfected. And proven. And proven. There's still some young punk. Yeah. Who just wants to feel included as an A&R, as an executive, right. whatever he is, to say, Speaking. ah, right. you know, I don't really know. As my guy Ryan Toby would say, the, the swivel chair niggas. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. Nigga. I'm you know taking I mean? that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Swivel chair <laughs> niggas. You know what I'm saying? Who sometimes you need to... Push, right, you know, he swivel, swivel your his chair, ass out the door. His ass out the door. <laughs> but there's always somebody, yeah, that feels like they can have that conversation with you, right? Whose resume not, you know, it may not match up. Yeah, no, it never does. But depending no. on that title, yeah. they can be in the way, absolutely, of yeah. giving that new artist, that next artist, an opportunity, an opportunity in that type of record that very few can deliver. Yeah. Well, we we you know we've all bumped into that. Like you say, it's you know to ask for. It's always funny because I you know I try to rephrase the question. If you ask for like I want something like this, mm -hmm. then the question becomes. But if you had that record first, would you have taken it? Mm. Mm. Oh, I want a sweet lady. Would you have taken sweet lady if you right. had? Would it? you have heard? Right. Sweet would you lady. would you would you have heard sweet lady? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, All would right. you have heard me without you? You just want the success. You want the success that came with that record. But would you have heard that record, you know, because not ever, again, it took Chris Hicks and Ron Fair right. to right. promote Be Without You. Jimmy didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. He's heard a lot of things. He's hey, right. And that's not a slight to Jimmy. Yeah, like, absolutely you know, not. At least, but he just at, didn't hear that one. Right. And at least Jimmy is not in the category of a swivel chair. No, no. You know no, what no. I mean? He, he's yeah, heard it because yeah, yeah. he's heard enough of he, it. He owns to, the furniture store. Exactly. He owns exactly. the furniture store. He's, 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 he's heard enough. So, you yeah, know, some, yeah. sometimes you don't hear, you know, sometimes you might, uh, uh, man, I didn't, I didn't hear that one, but it worked. Right. You know, I hear, you know, Tricky told me one time that when they, when he left the studio, uh, I think they did single ladies. He was like, I just said, I told Dream and B, like, I'm going to have to trust y'all. Because I. he was like, I went home and told my wife, like, I don't know about this one. Wow. And he did it. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. he, you know, so sometimes every, everybody doesn't, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. But he, did, he didn't hear it? He told me that he didn't hear it. His own like, record, too. His own right. record. Like, so it wasn't even like, he, he was like, I, I told Dream and, and, and B, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to trust y'all on this one. On single ladies? Yeah. 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 I, I get it. I get it. First yeah. list. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a half a listen. Right. right. <laughs> Seems to be come on. Yeah. Yeah. My God. But it works, you know what I mean? So yeah. sometimes, you know, you have records like that, though, where um, you like may like them. We get to CB. Like, um, I thought... I thought popping was cool. I didn't know that oh, it was like cultural. Like, like, and now it's yeah. become cultural. Yeah. I didn't have a video either. Yeah. People to this day are like, yo, he can still do a video to that. And right. we'd watch it. That's the first oh, album, right? I love yeah. that song. And, and yo, right? Yeah. You helped break Chris Brown. Yes. And Imagine those are Dre and Vidal records? Yes, absolutely. Both, right? Both yes, them, right? shout out to Dre and Vidal. Imagine absolutely. that. Yeah. You helped break Chris Brown. You helped break Chris Brown. Yeah. You, you, and, you and Sean Garrett. You and Sean Garrett. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Sheesh. That, that's a high wow. point, I think, because without, you know, the Mariahs and Marys are fantastic. They I mean, are you who know, they are. But the, and, they yeah. were, and they were who they were yeah. if they never meet me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. is, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Again, Mariah, this is one sweet day. Yeah. This is family affair, not going to yeah. cry. This right. is, you yeah, but know. But you're Christmas album yeah. of all time. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. This you're, is, you're you know. Of, you're part of the discovery Absolutely. of Chris Brown. Yeah. Like, when you go in, you know, it's this, this new kid. He got, he got this single. It's cracking. And then they go and buy the album. Yeah. And then he got this other single. And it's other, you know, it, oh, man. Them songs, let me tell you something, right now in they come out right Paris. Now. Yeah. Sold out. He's still he performing did, those records. Shit, yeah. He do a yeah. thing where the audience gets to pick a record. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, to pick the record. Yeah, yeah. 
And when that record comes on, they pick that that they pick that record. Yeah. And they perform the piece. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Bro, I was like this. Yeah, I'm just sitting there like this. Yeah. I said, "Yeah, Shante still killing." Co- <laughs> Cultural, <this> yeah. <laughs> so, as a writer, as a writer, how do you approach that? This is new kid. He from the middle of Virginia. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how they do. They do if you're anything under twenty. Under 18, hey, we the new Michael Jackson. He the, you know what I mean? Yeah. They give you all that. He the Bobby Brown. Or this, you know, it's all of that. How do you approach that? Because at this point, you're already in a, you're a grown man at this point. Absolutely. How yeah. do you approach that? Do you get into that mindset of if I'm 16, 15, 14, whatever he is at the time, 15, um, this what I would be. T- this what this what I would say to him. Yeah, it's it's that. I think with Chris. You know, so when Dre and Vidal's manager, you know, Mark Byers, Mark Byers, absolutely, Uncle Mark, absolutely. Um, you know, he was like, "Man, I want you to come up to Philly." Um, you know, and then Mark and Mark Pitts and Tina Davis brought Chris down, but you know, they had kind of prepped us similar to that. Like this, this kid is just great. But then you meet Chris, yeah, and the yeah. energy, the energy of we we've all known Chris since he yeah. was that age, right? Yeah. So you know the energy, the smile, just the enthusiasm. So you feed off of that, yeah. like it was easy. We did those records on the spot for Chris, like it was after we met him, and it was like, okay, I okay, I, I, I get this kid now, like yeah. you know what I mean. And so that's you know yeah. that's kind of how we put it, like yeah, like if you know. Um, but one thing is like what I would say if I was 16, but one tip that JD gave me um, was that when writing for young people, he was like, he always, he talked to Barry Gordy one time and Barry was like, you know, we never considered Michael's age in the Jackson 5. And if you go back and listen to those records. I know, they're real records. When I that, had you, right. I treated you bad. That, that's not what? something, right, exactly. You ain't had nothing. You, you, had nothing. you singing to a hamster? <laughs> exactly. Who are, you who are you singing to? Exactly, they never considered. And so, hmm. to a degree, like, you know, you can't go overt. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, the same way that you would say say something to a young lady, at hey, you're at, you know, 22, 23, he can say that. Right. He's I don't know probably, your name, but excuse me, miss. He's probably yeah. is saying. Right, he probably exactly yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, because because for for like this room, yeah, like you said, we've all known Chris Absol- since then. Absolutely, Chris would be what you would call mannish. Yes, mannish yeah. at, 15. So, at fifteen. He was mannish. When yeah. I met him, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I like you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can hang out with me he is, anytime. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. He was that kid. He was that yeah. kid. So it's you know, the it's not a, it's not too adult to be like you know. What's your name is? Oh, yeah, that fits you. That fits you, girl. Yeah. 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 Where you headed? Can I walk with you? Yeah. Like, mm. You know what I mean? That's something that's, we Break would say down. that. Like, Break it yeah, down, you know nigga. I mean? yeah. That's, yeah. that's the, you yeah. know. This is, this is, this is real songwriting. Bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> real, you know, because you know what real songwriting is? Conversation. Absolutely. Conversation. Yeah. Conversation. So all you little niggas jumping in these DMs with an emoji, you'll never be Jonte Austin. <laughs> Oh, wow. Because the emoji can't speak for you. Mm-mm. Not in these songs. Yeah. Not when you're writing these records. No. No. Emojis don't work. No. Conversation works. You got to say something. And, 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 and the depth connected to those conversations is really the life you live. Hmm. Yes, sir. That's how you can articulate really articulate those conversations. You got to live you, it a little bit. Oh, you got to. You got to. I lived it a lot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> no, what I will say is, I've, I've known you for I don't know how many years at this point. Oh gosh, you've always been a grown man. Yeah. <laughs> you always carried yourself. Yeah. As a grown man, bro. Thank you. Like it was never like you know, like yes, you got a sense of humor, the whole shit, but it's not like play play. You not you're a grown man, bro. So for you, you to say I've lived it, I believe it. You've done a good job at, at keeping it under wraps, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's part of your, your mystique, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I respect right. your I respect mystique it. is intact. It's gone now after this. <laughs> well, that's what we're here for. There you go. That's what we're here for. You do you yeah. do you have any embarrassing moments as we as we as we talk about that? Like, 
Is this a I ain't gonna say no name moment? You know what? Let's about, save your, it for that. about your own name? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I <laughs> no let's it. save it. Let's save it then. Okay. We can save wanna, it. I don't wanna mess up y'all ain't saying it. no names. I, I don't wanna mess but, that up. But you also gotta tell us about a record okay. that you wrote for, that you wrote for our brother. Stingy. Oh Ooh, stingy. A lot of people don't know you wrote that. Yeah. They didn't know until the verses. A lot of people don't know you wrote It's that. another cultural record. What? That's culture. Sometimes it, and it and it was I think it was like a top ten hit, but it's like sometimes nice. you know it's it's beyond the charts. Charts yeah. are nice, we but sing, it's we something. Sing it's, a, it's a career record. Yes, it's yeah. cu- you got to have. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, career. We record. respond to culture like yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't give. I don't know. You know the average person. You know they like the barbershop and coming to America. I don't know what it went on the Billboard charts, but that shit is a smash. Exactly. Like it's right. like exactly. I sing it, I know it. That's what I had to ask you about. So stingy, oddly enough, um, stingy was done, B. Cox and I did that record for Blue Cantrell. Huh. The record okay, was I, not I'm Virginia. I'm, I'm the dialing record was not for Genuine. Okay, okay. And she's coming off of Hit Em Up Style? Or did yeah. Be before coming that? off of Hit Em Up Style. Okay. And her and it wasn't Dallas who turned the record down. One, swivel chair nigga probably turned okay. the record down <laughs> like okay. nah we're not interested G heard it what's this we didn't even like he heard us playing and he was like what's this and we was like oh you like he was like oh this shit is crazy so like Genuine called his own shot on yeah. that record yes, like he heard it and was like yeah give me that give me that it's mine give me that Give me that. Kept all the, you know, you know, G don't sing no backgrounds. So he was like, keep the back. Let yeah. me get the, let me get the leads. None of his, none of his group members sing backgrounds. No. Nobody in TGT sings background, but Tank. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's all me. That's all me on the stingy. I, I believe it. Backgrounds. No. He did the main note. That was it. He did okay. the, he yeah. did the top line. Yeah. You guys, but all of he, the other ones. he's a lead ones. singer. Yeah. He's a lead exactly. Singer. Yeah. 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 But that's. Great record. Thank you. That Thank you. Oh, I love that song. Versus was really great too, by the way. Yeah. Versus was was fantastic. That was, that was great. I mean, Neil, of course, monster. Oh. But the discovery on you was really like, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Because then it became like, people were like, who the fuck is this Jante Austin? Yeah. Going yeah. into it, because going into it, people were like, I don't know who this guy is. But Neil's about to mop the floor with him, uh, man. Oh, you know, I was at the house going in. Because <laughs> both of y'all are my friends. Absolutely. Neil's my friend. well, Schaefer to me. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. the homie. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Years. Absolutely. But I saw those comments. Yeah. I'm like, you niggas out of your yeah. motherfucking yeah. mind. Yeah. 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 You think John T. Austin you, don't got you these You don't think he got yeah. them. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's getting yeah. ready to be one. Yeah. It was going to be a bad. So we were... So that came together, and I have to give all the credit to, you know, Neo's team, you know, Tim and Swiss, of course. We were watching the verses from the night before, mm-hmm. which was Dream and Sean Garrett. And, and so they was wild. They, <laughs> they was wild. Yeah, that <laughs> to put it mildly. And so, um, you know, I had saw Joe Budden comment, you know. What about Jonte Austin versus Neo? So I hit Tyrone, Tyrone Davis. And I was like, yo, you got, you know, you got a line on, on, you know, Neo's people. He was like, yeah, let me, you know, I was like, see what he would think about doing a versus. Yeah. Shout out to Joe Budden for loving R&B music. Absolutely. Loving R&B music. Absolutely. And so, um, so Tyrone called me back in like 30 minutes and he was like, they down. Let's do it. Like he was like, Fuzzy called me back and, you know, let's do it. So we started getting the artwork together and then Neil talked because originally it, we were just going to do just it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then Swiss, you know, talked with Neil and was like, yo, let us bring it under the umbrella. Let us give it the curation. Yeah. Let us give it the platform. Let us do it right. Yeah. You know, if he was like, I love it. Let's like, let's, let's make it, let's make it go. So, you know, we set it up. And then that very next night, you know, yeah, I was on. we had the, I mean, I spent half the day getting my playlist, you know, together and, you know, knowing how I was going, you know, 
Because the playlist oh, for, is very important. Yeah, the it's order. like spades. Yeah, it, you damn right. It's mm-hmm. like spades. You damn right. Yeah, you, you better you gotta, hold that big joker. You, you, you got what? to. Yeah. What? Are you playing? What, what you playing? You playing? You playing Joker, Joker, Deuce? You know what I'm saying? You, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Like, yeah. Or Deuce, yeah. Deuce. You know what I'm saying? Deuce, that yeah. Yeah. You, know, like, you might want that diamond too. Yeah. So you play that hand right. You got to be careful. So like, I. I played around. I was like open to like the middle part of the verses. I knew what the last five songs were going to be. Mm-hmm. I knew what the first five songs were going to be. So like I knew we were closing with Mariah, you know, going back in us. So it was, you know, two Aaliyah songs, Mary, Mariah. Those yeah. were. And then yeah. and before Aaliyah, we started with Aaliyah was popping. Yeah. <laughs> and so, again, culture, because I heard Jay-Z say like, you know, one time he was like, you know, people didn't. Think that Jonte had a chance, but then he starts. Then he starts playing like on and popping, and you're like, "Oh shit, this is cult. Like this is. It's not just about number one hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is well, a record said, that you said, we. You heard Jay Z? Who? Jay Z said that? Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 That's my shout out to the big homie. Oh, shout man. out. Yeah. This is water, but I wish it was champagne. So shout, I out, just sh- pour it. <laughs> shout out to the to the big. I, and I was and I made sure to drink. Do say, of course. In the so people thought I was drinking under one a wine, wine glass, but yeah. putting y'all onto some culture. It was the fleur de lis glass, and that's hmm. what you're supposed to drink cognac out cognac of. Out so of. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it wasn't a wine glass yeah. on verses. It was a what kind yeah. of glass? It was a fleur de lis cognac glass. Yeah. Shout out to all our brothers <laughs> that have liquor brands. You yeah, know what I mean? absolutely. Puff. Jay Z, E40. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin you know Hart. I mean? Kevin Hart. Like, like, listen, you can you can you can buy your brother's alcohol brand. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. I'm not telling you you don't have to drink these other ones, but Rick if, Ross. If you uh, Ross, Ross. We got if, Ross. If your brothers have one, Tap support them. Brothers, yeah. yeah. Check with me in about a year. Well, yeah. Come on, we're gonna well, you know I will. Mean? We will. Check yeah, with, yeah. Check we with, will. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shout out to our brother Harmony when he came on the pod. Oh, and he I love brought, Harmony. Brought, you know what I'm saying? He brought, brought his tequila. tequila. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Yeah. 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 yeah so I have to try it. Smooth. Nice. Okay. Nice and smooth. Okay. Vuelo. Okay. Yeah. I like it. It's called Vuelo. Yeah, we gotta support each other. I think you should do a suit line too, my brother. Oh man. I think you know what I mean? Why not? If Steve can do it, you, <laughs> you spent enough it. money. I yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think you should give Tank some of those suits because he used to have these Steve Harvey suits that was that tricky. Were cracking. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? They were they were on fire. Uh, you know, this is Were they mm. wide leg? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, you know. Big leg business. <laughs> yeah, big leg business, man. I don't think I don't think yours is gonna be big leg business. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's, no it's, we're couture now. Yeah, we, uh, it's, it's tapered. Yeah, yeah. You guys are in shape. I mean, this guy does jujitsu every night. I mean, that's what he does. Yeah. He'll give you a hit song and hit you in the motherfucking face. I mean, either one. We ride by day, we roll you up. By night. <laughs> right, right by day, day we roll, roll by, by night. night. Ruben, I know Ruben loves that. Ruben I loves love it. Yeah, yeah. Ru- Ruben's trying to get over there so he can go get some in while he's out. Uh, he's, he's a fellow jujitsu. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go pick up my son after this, and we're gonna roll tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's dope, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. super dope. That's yeah. super dope. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That guy is turning his piano on. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we about to put some pressure on uh, the pressure man himself, cause I mean he wrote that too. Huh? Oh um, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pressure. Come on, don't act like I don't know my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We still writing hits to this day. Yeah, yeah. Look, shout out to Ari Lennox. That's the homegirl. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You've written a lot of songs, <laughs> man. We we haven't probably even got to half of them. We haven't gotten to a third of things you've done. <laughs> There were a lot of songs written before you. Mm. Oh yes. <laughs> that might have inspired you to become the man you are. <laughs> 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 we would like to tap into the greatness that you consider great. Oh, yes. Mm. By understanding your top five. <laughs> Top five, your top five R and B singers, R and B songs. You got to have, you got to know, you got to see. John Tate Austin, top five, yeah. Yeah! Top five! Yeah! <laughs> you know what 
Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Pendergrass, yeah. You're top five. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sergeant Darkly! <Darkman. laughs> take it, sing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it, sing it. Sing it, sing it. <laughs> yes. John Tay Austin, your top five R&B singers. <sighs> Stevie Wonder. Mm. Start off. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Otis Redding. Mm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sam Cooke. No. Oh. Come on now. Come on Why with are you it. acting like this? Whitney Houston. Mm. Yes. The voice. The voice, right. The of voice. All voices. Of all voices, right. Um. Ooh. Man, who do I put at five? I'm riding with the home team. I'm going Usher. Uh, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Stay with the home team. Oh, you got to go home. I'm going with you, the home team. You got to go going, home. You got to do the right thing. Absolutely. I'm going yeah. with the squad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. rocking with the squad. Yeah. Absolutely. Not bad. Not mad at you at all. Yeah. Yeah. Top five. R&B songs. As by Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Kick it off. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, when a woman's fed up. Shit. Mm. La da 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 da. La la. Oh la la la. Oh now. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. don't want to find out the hard way. The hard way. Then oh, listen now. to the song. Listen the to the plays. song. Yeah. Or the record play. Um, yeah, so let's see. As um, when a woman's fed up. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, you know what song that we always talk about around the studio? Uh, Michael Jackson's Lady in My Life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that's that's made it to the top five a few times. Yeah, that's it a, is that's so. A thing. Yeah, Look, I, I'm gonna give you the last two, but real quick, I told I asked JD one time if Michael came to you to work, you know, would you work when he was like, man, nah, I tell him to go back to Quincy, that's where he belongs, and he, I was like, you know, but we can do some records for Michael. He was like, not like they can do them. I say. You don't think we could do like a, we've done a lady in my life. JD goes, when the hell we did one of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> I'm here every day. I ain't, I, ain't see, I ain't seen one of them get out the door. When when they got out the door? I said, oh, shit. <laughs> like, so, Woo! just, yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah. Uh, lady in my life, mm. um, never too much, mm. Luther mm. Vandross. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, what is, what's that sound in the beginning of that song? What is that? Mm. Mm. What is that? Dum, dum, mm. dum. Before it kick in, it's it's this sound that comes in in the beginning of that song, bro. It that, could be the could be the could be a bass. It's yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's a bass or something. It's just yeah. like it, could it be like a bass slides or the it's worm. Did they worm it, man? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's the call out to me. Yeah, <laughs> and a door by Prince. Uh. <laughs> What a uh, song. What a what record. A song. What an artist. But I got something else for him, Chief. I got something else for him. We've, we've, we've never done this. What haven't you done? I want to know your top five songwriters. Because you are who you are, brother. Yeah. I would like to know your top five songwriters. That's very good. One of my picks very is going to be controversial, so we'll save him at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I've already named one of his songs, so yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, so Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Um, Babyface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lionel Richie. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Lionel. Yeah, the man who bought Beverly Hills. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Off the pen. Off the pen. Talking about pimping your pen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Pimping, pimping. Uh, um, R. Kelly. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jermaine Dupree. Ooh. Songwriters Hall of Fame. <laughs> Hall, of fame. Hall of Fame. Hall yeah. of Fame. Everybody in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, Jermaine. Right. Hall of Fame, Jermaine. Everybody in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. 
Hall of Fame. Hall Say of what fame. you want. Absolutely. That's yeah. A, that's a great list. It's yeah. A great Thank list. you, brother. Thank no. you. No. Because I, you know, we're we're all fans. Yeah. No matter what, if we do yeah. it or not, we're all fans. Yeah. yeah. So for you, as and how I look at you as a songwriter, for you to tell me who your five guys are, five women, whatever it is, what yeah. is yeah. Like, that's amazing. Amazing. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. I, I like your list. Um, we're going to make the Voltron. Okay. Okay. We're going to assemble your R&B artists, the greatest, the super. Who are you getting the vocal from, the okay. performance style from, the styling from, the passion of that artist, and who's going to write for that artist? Okay. Vocal. Vocal. Stevie Wonder again. <laughs> it's got, it's Stevie is. Up temples, mids, ballads. Yeah. Yes. Right. Acapella. Straight ahead. Yeah. Vocal, acrobatics, yeah. Yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it all. Yeah. Performance style. Michael Jackson. That's yeah. going to be fucking nuts. Stevie <laughs> voice Michael before. God. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. He's not going to be, yeah. he's not going to be an alien. Because yeah. you also get Stevie playing too. Because right. he's, he, he's, it's his voice and so he has to play too. That's how he sings like you gotta, that. You got to get like on the harmonica. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the styling. The styling. Um. Hmm. Now, so, so styling like their image? Yep. Yeah. Their image. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Frank, Frank was a fly motherfucker, man. man. I, my friend, yeah. they call me Sinatra. They call me Johnny man. Sinatra. So, yeah. <laughs> you He's know, a fly so. I do. Frank so, yeah. Was clean. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 The passion of the artist, the heart. Of Usher. The mm. Mm. That's hard working. No one works harder than that guy. Diligent. Absolutely. I mean, he roller skates and sings. Man. Absolutely. We say that all the time. It's like, yeah. think, well, how, how many hours do you need to prepare you for You need 10,000 hours right. of roller skates. He's hitting the same that. handstand in the his one 40s. Time where the, his the one time where the dancer bumped into him and he turned it into a move. Yeah. Like, nah, I'm not going to fall on these skates like that. On, nah. <laughs> not in front of all these people. I'm, I'm too nice. To, I'm about to roll bells, nigga. I'm, too, yeah, roll. <laughs> I'm about to roll bells. Sweetness, nigga. <laughs> Sweetness. I'm too yeah. nice yeah. with this. Yeah, hey, I'm yeah. nice with it. Nigga. Absolutely. I think he kind of like turned into like, like a half split Man, too. Like, eh. Yeah. I said, oh, come on, bro. Uh, I'm sick of you all cheat. of it. You cheat. That's yeah. the point. You cheat. Um, yeah. Who's writing for this artist? Hmm. I know who I want to write that song. <laughs> <laughs> Um, man, that's a. You better not give it away. That that's kind of a a, a, a toss up of of what. But you know, can I say I'm writing for you? You got that right to say you. Listen, <laughs> I was ready to fight you. Shit. Bro. I'm writing. For you him. got this mega artist, and you ain't gonna write the you song. You got that yeah. right. You better write it. He like, man, I don't want to give away my song. No, no, no. <laughs> right, right. I'm still a frustrated artist, can't you tell? Oh, man. You got that right you write for. Yes, I'm, I'm writing for them, yes. Yeah. Damn, man, come yeah. on. Writing an all-timer. All-timer. Yeah. For Absolutely. the third or fourth time. For the third or fourth time. Third or fourth time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What you got, Chief? What you got? Ooh. Come on. More songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying no names. Hey, I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. Where you was? Who you with? What you did? Don't say she. I ain't saying no names. Yeah. We here, dog. <laughs> we here now. We here now. I oh, he's, oh, he just popped his collar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, you, you watch the show. Mm -hmm. You know you know how this thing goes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're here. This is the I Ain't Saying No Name segment where you tell us your story, a story, funny or fucked up, or funny <laughs> and fucked up, mm -hmm. in the travels and the times. Of Jonte Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Hold on. This is Jonte Austin. Mm -hmm. Kids beat. <laughs> oh, God. Kids beat. Huh? This, this. If, if you've ever met a young lady that you wanted to be a sweet lady, huh. 
Jeez. He huh? started with kids beat. Huh? Cocaine is involved in this story. Oh, shit. Shit, let's go. <laughs> they can't be without you. you sometimes you can't be without the, you, you know, you can't be without the, you feel. You me. feel. So, I ain't saying no names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, so we're in, well, I'm going to say a couple names, but it has nothing to do with, you know, but we're in Vegas working on the Raymond versus Raymond album. This is the formation of the whole Oceans thing and and whatever. And I was beefing with someone else in the music business. They were not in Vegas with us. Beefing, though. I was beefing over a lady. Mm. I was in my, um, I was emotional. I was Carl Thomas. Carl Thomas emotional. Look at me. (laughs) I can't stop crying. (laughs) My heart is slowly (laughs) dying. I was reaching for rain. Yeah. I'm grasping. Yeah, yes. she had you. Yeah. You know, just and I had, you know, was in the, you know, the heights of just a, a really stellar drug problem. Hmm. Uh, you know, it was one for the books. Um, I went through a period where I, I did enough cocaine to probably kill a Kentucky Derby level thoroughbred horse. But so I am, you know, just upset at this person. And we go out to Dre's. And you high. I'm high and <laughs> I'm rifling shots. <laughs> Shit. Someone, you know, and I'm just venting. I think JD or B. Cox makes a joke about it. I storm out of Dre's by myself. I've left everybody in there, and I and you can't just storm out of Dre's because no, you, you have to take elevator, you elevators, elevators, and stairs. stairs. Like, I storm the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out of good. breath, but I but I have stormed out of this. I have stormed out of this place. Yeah, yeah. But you also have performing and dancing drugs. <laughs> exactly. <inside laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> so then I go to the Spearmint Rhino. Why not? And. I'm in the Spearmint Rhino, just me and my lonesome in the VIP. And, you know, I start to feel sick. I go to the bathroom and I throw up. And then I feel better. And what would really make me feel better is if, you know, I did another bump and that would like get me back to where I was, right? And so now he's, I'm in the he's zone. Chow. He's chow. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one more bump. One more bump in my mouth. And so this was the era of two ways. Mm, Not yeah. two ways. Blackberries. Blackberries. Okay. I send off an email uh at about five o'clock Vegas time. And you know. Talking about how, you know, I need people around me who are solid. (laughs) I need people around me who are going to ride for me. And if you are not for me, then you are are against against me. me. Yeah. Yeah. Send it to all of the crew in Vegas. Send it to Mark Pitts. (laughs) Send it to Barry Weiss, who was the head of like a couple of other executives. Send it to everybody but the person I'm mad at. (laughs) Who has no idea that I'm mad at at him, by the way. And, yeah, and then fired off of, you know, that text. I won't say who the person was, but, uh, and then the next day just rolled into the studio like, Like like nothing happened. Well, first I had to, the aforementioned black card, I left that in the Spearmint Rhino, so I had to go back and get that. Uh, but I wasn't the only one because the person, I was like, you know, I left my Amex here last night. You know, which one is it? I'm like, you know, it's the black card. That doesn't narrow it down. And I'm like, wow. So there was, there was one more. So, <laughs> it was so a I, few of us. I didn't feel bad. And so I go to the studio the next day like nothing happens. Usher comes in and, you know, sits down. <laughs> We're at the board and all he does is he goes, you okay? <laughs> and I'm like, Yep. He's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my, I ain't going to say who it the is. Name. You yeah. said, the name. Because you said, said all the other names. names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, I ain't going to say the name. I ain't going to say the name. Somebody had you in a 
Friends. Oh my gosh. What was wow. wrong with me? I was tripping. It matters of the heart, man. It happens. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And cocaine. And cocaine. And yeah. yeah. Make the heart explode, Father. <laughs> sure. we, we, we're glad that your heart didn't explode. <laughs> Me <bro>. too. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Crazy enough, I never knew you was on cocaine, brother. Thank you. I never, I never knew that. You said thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew that. Never yeah. Knew that. Thanks. Thanks. I, uh, yeah. Well, welcome back. Thank No, I'm yeah. off it, by the way, just, you know, for years. So there you go. Okay. Yeah, man. We, <laughs> we need you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Not you bad, brother. Yeah, no, I'm I, now I'm running and doing jujitsu. So the, you know things, yeah. you, things you need your heart for. So I'm uh, you know, ah, keep great. It clear. Yeah, that's, that's great, great, man. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Uh, Jonte Austin, um, Sinatra. Yeah. <laughs> now you really are Sinatra. Now you are, <laughs> right. now you are Sinatra <laughs> boy. Oh yes. <laughs> um, thank you, brother. I mean, you thank know, you we, guys. we've we've it's been great. We've been doing this for too long, man, and yeah. and um. You know, just outside of friendships and brotherhood, man. Just, just what you've done. Thank you. As a peer, you know what I mean. Like you are, shit. You're him. You're him. Thank you so much. I appreciate you you're guys him. having me. Yeah. I've been looking no, forward to you, doing this. Yeah, this yeah. Is, no, we we needed we needed to have. It's the yeah. R and B Money Podcast, the authority yeah. on all things R and B. <laughs> Absolutely. How do we not have you? Thank you so much. Thank you for having yeah. me. You know, so you're on the you're on the board of authorities. Oh. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate. We about that. to start sending the names to you, like, yo, you think they could come on? The- what you think? <laughs> there it is. There it is. If Dante say you ain't of the call, uh, right. you ain't quite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That one swivel chair nigga that passed up on that record, uh, right? He, he can't, can't he come can't up. Come. He's probably gonna say you can't come on he here. Can't come. <laughs> he can't come on. We no. love you, brother man. We, I love yeah, you guys, love man. You Thank guys. you. And that's all. You're the greatest. Thank you, guys. Love. My name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. This is the Army Money Podcast. The Authority. Yes, sir. On all things R&B hmm. and we've just had uh, our brother um, in one of the the greatest songwriters of all times Mr. Jonte Austin thank you guys thank you Ooh, yeah. R&B money